it's me again, Sunday Sessions, George behind the camera. Season four, fam. We've given you three whole seasons. We're on to season four. We're back in the ends. The helicopter is out. The sun is shining. We're making a beautiful little Sicilian dish called caponata, which is fried aubergines and then little tasty bits. I'm gonna grill a piece of red mullet and stick it on top. Spring has sprung. There's beautiful fresh fish in our waters. All of the greens are coming back in and vegetables are at their fucking prime. So let's celebrate the spring with a beautiful Italian recipe, yeah? Um, so there's a few bits that I've done in advance because it's quite a steply process, this recipe. But I'm gonna show you a few bits first and then we're gonna get shit cracking. Typhon has just walked in, almost ready to eat. Season four, shit's changed, cuz. Before we get into it, here's a little something something from our sponsor. We're finally sponsored. This might be one sponsor for one episode and you'll never see them again, but man got sponsored and we're now being paid to sit here, you get me? So thank you, big up the sponsors then, bow. Bro, shopping's long. We dedicate one day every week to trampling around the supermarket, but with HelloFresh, I placed my order, I picked what I wanted for the week, and it was at my door at quarter past eight in the morning. So on the website, you can choose from over 44 different recipes from different parts of the world, fish, meat, vegetarian, vegan, family style, Whatever you fancy, you can choose. No need to run around shopping, buying that extra bottle of soy sauce or worrying about if you've got any sesame oil. HelloFresh delivers everything weighed out so there's no wastage and you can cook yourself or your family a delicious dinner. Eating out is not cheap and eating at home is proving even more expensive. But when ordering HelloFresh, we know that we can feed one of our family members for £3.15. Not only that, you're getting a tasty, nutritious, healthy meal. I fed four people when everyone was satisfied. I'd 100% recommend getting yourself a HelloFresh box. And where it's no subscription, just try it out for a couple nights. If it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for you, but I reckon you'd be pleasantly fucking surprised when that dinner turns up and you can take all the credit for making a delicious meal for your family. Right, so all you got to do is scan the QR code, 60% off your first box, 20% off your boxes for the next two months. You'd be a fool not to jump in and get involved. Thank you, HelloFresh. Back to the sesh. Caponata, Sicilian dish, steppy process, but I'm going to run you through. We've got some cut and salted aubergines. Here, I've got some caramelized onions and a little tomato sauce. Tomato sauce is two cloves of garlic, one tin of tomatoes. Cook it all the way fucking down until it's tight and jammy like this. Onions is one whole onion, slice really thin, cook it down. When it starts to get color, add some water to it and then just keep cooking it until it goes soft and sweet, right? So I've got some frying oil up to temperature. I say temperature, it's hot. Um, I'm gonna take these aubergines and we're just gonna get them the fuck in. Yeah, always drop it away from yourself so you don't get bun up. Add salt to your, I was gonna say partly drowned, my brain's stuck in Turkey, I've been in Turkey for three weeks. Add salt to your aubergines and then you get rid of this pissy water, right? See, look, pissy water. Um, that just means that when they fry, they're gonna go tight and brown and delicious, crispy caramel, yeah? So aubergine is the star of this show. We've got sweetness coming from caramelized onion and tomato. I've blanched some celery, and if I have to explain to you how to blanch, you're in the wrong fucking place, go watch someone on TikTok cook. Um, and then we've just got little bits that are gonna do flavor enhancement. So we've got olives that we're gonna take the seeds out, capers for acidity, pine nuts for a little like warm, toasty texture. Um, and then somewhere I should have some raisins some raisins soaked in red wine vinegar. So buy yourself some raisins, this is about two tablespoons, and just pour red wine vinegar over the top. Aubergine's cooking in batches. We're just gonna have a check from now and then. The reason we cook the aubergine in batches is that we don't want the fryer temperature to drop when we add our aubergine in. If I were to put all of this aubergine in, there's no room for the oil to pit patter and crisp the aubergine and we're, we're adding moisture into the oil and it doesn't really work. So do it in batches, look after them. As that's the star of the dish, we wanna pay most attention to the aubergines themselves. Now, with it being spring, right? The fucking spring sun's in the air. 
almost get a tan. Um, I thought, why not do some beautiful seasonal seafood? So here, I've got four pieces of red mullet. We're probably gonna cook two. But red mullet, one of my favorite fish. We're gonna grill it hard and fast. And you'll find that red mullet, when you grill it, the skin almost tastes like a prawn and the, the, the fish itself is really delicate and sweet. If you can't find a red mullet, do this with a prawn or don't do it with anything at all. This is the kind of shit you can rock up to someone's house with and be like, uh, I make carbonata, darling. And although it sounds like something a posh woman would shout in a park because that's what they named their kid. Caponata, capo. That's not what it is. It's just a Sicilian aubergine dish, you get me? Um, but one of those ones that's labor of love, it takes a little time, but it will sit in your fridge for a couple of days and every so often you dunk a bit of bread in it or eat it alongside something or grill a piece of fish. It's just good to have knocking about in the, in the fridge, right? While that happens, Let's do some other bits. So I'm gonna pit some olives. So here I've got the big green Italians. I'd say that's about 12 olives. And I'm just gonna use the palm of my hand and I'm gonna crush. And as you crush, you can pull the pip out and you're left with this little bit of crushed olive, right? Make sure there's no seeds in them because we don't wanna break anyone's teeth. While we're here, I've got a lovely new chopper from Kin. Look at this for a knife, man. Big up Kin. So for those of you who ask me, what knives do you use? I use Kin knives. This board that we have cooked on since like episode three is a Kin board. Shout out to Zach and Harry. These guys look after me and these are fucking top tier knives, bruv. Thank you. So, olives are done. And then that's pretty much it, bruv. All it's got to do is come together. The barbecue's lit. Got to grill a piece of fish, make a caponata. I'll tell you they tried to rob me, innit? Poor seals. Poor seals. Right, so look, aubergines, brown, caramel, delicious. Just into a little bit of tissue paper to drain. We don't want the greasiness, but we want the flavour. Denzel, this ain't the time to be running around underneath the table, you prick. Denzel. I swear to God, you're gonna get oil on you and then I'm the one that's gonna have to fucking pay. Right, look, that's what we're looking for. Nice and crispy brown. You almost want them crunchy, yeah? In they go. Some for the homies. Right, so a little season. Give them a little toss on this bit of tissue and then pull the tissue out. From here, we're just gonna start building flavor. So I'm gonna go in with my caramelized onions and my tomato. Oil and all, this is all flavor. That goes in like that. And this is almost like an Italian mezze, an antipasti. Just a little something nice. We've got our blanched celery, blanched this in heavily salted water. That's gonna give us texture and crispiness. Couple tablespoons. Fuck it, add a lot, pine nuts. And we've got our raisins that are soaked in vinegar. Now we're not gonna put the vinegar in until we've mixed it. We're gonna mix it, then taste it. And if it needs a little bit of like, huh, like a little bit of vibrancy, a little, oh. In the, back of the, in the back of the throat, like your gal, and we're gonna put the vinegar in. Then, we've got some capers. And when I worked in a restaurant, we used to put chocolate in this to give it like a richness, and it was fucking good. But no chocolate today. My girlfriend's allergic to, to dairy, um, so no chocolate. And then I've just got some jar peppers. I'm just gonna tear these into it. That's gonna give us sweetness, just like that. And then here, because I've used the celery, I'm just gonna add these little bits of celery leaf that come in the celery. Little bits of free flavor, different changing color. Little something, something. Little crack of salt. And then we're gonna give this a mix. Now, I don't wanna mix it too heavy because I want the aubergine to stay intact. So we're just gonna give it like a 
your toss. Again, like your gal. Um, toss that up, and it smells fucking great, man. It's like deep smells from aubergine, the little bits of vinegar that are on the raisin, toasted pine nuts, caramelized onion. And then lastly, in with the olives. And give it a gentle stir. Now this, can go into the bowl. Look at it fucking glistening in the sunshine. Just like that. Nice little bit of height. Now this is good enough to eat on its ones, just like that. But I've got the barbecue lit. I found some beautiful red mullet. Why the fuck not? So let's cook some red mullet. Okapanata Taras. Caponata's done, right? Honestly, one of my fucking favorite Italian things. Delicious, I fucking love it. But, spanking, spanking bit of red mullet we've got here. Camille's favorite fish. Now they're quite small, so they're gonna cook very quickly. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that they're dry. And then the same way we cook all the other fish, little glug of oil. Give it a wipe, make sure it's fully coated. I've got a fucking stupidly hot barbecue. Look at it, man, beautiful pink, almost like leopard print. Now don't let a fishmonger rope you into buying goat fish because they're fake. Make sure that they're red mullets. Nice crack of salt. And then we're gonna take these over to the grill. We're at a really hot one count, right? Because I want to get really crispy skin. And I like to cook fish so that you've got full control. So if you've got a barbecue that you can pull the grill away from, that's a good time to use that. I've just seasoned the skin side. I'm going to cook it until here starts to go opaque around the edges. You can already smell the skin starting to crisp. And I like to have full control, so if I need some more heat, I can move it here. If I want to cool it down, I can move it elsewhere. But these fish do not take long to cook at all. Yeah. Beautiful. So now we're going to go for a flip. That's what you want. when you cook the skin crispy, they start to taste like a prawn and you get all of this beautiful, you see this color, the fish oil, like intense, deep flavors, richness. They're just beautiful fish. They don't need long at all. So once you flip them, talk shit for 30 seconds. Now we're gonna pull them. Oh, look at that for a fish. Can't even get this one, France. Now we're just letting it rest on this side, off the heat. All we're gonna do is take these two bits of mullet. One. Two, like that. On the top. I'm gonna go a nice dribble of olive oil. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is caponata and grilled red mullet. You see old boy has? Man's got this thing in the back, cuz. Oh, man. So 
a nice fish though, isn't it? Uh, you probably have in Cyprus, man. That's what they eat in Cyprus. Barbun. So yeah, just beautiful. Beautiful. Flaky bits. Of red monnet. Glistening in the sun. I love red monnet, man. Fried, grilled, stewed. It's such a good fish. Loads of flavour in the skin. It's like high in um, good fishy oil, which doesn't sound that appetising, but with a sweet little caponata underneath. Support your dealers, man. Eat sustainable fish. If Camille was here right now, he'd say, oh. <laughs> You'll make a bad one. He'd shit his pants with excitement. Who else is giving you fucking food like this for free on YouTube? Show me. That's it. Season four started with a bang. Loads of beautiful food coming. Um, this is just the beginning. Keeping that level high. Yeah? Teaching you how to cook delicious fucking food. I say this at the end of every fucking video, but you should make this one. It's fantastic. It's fucking spring. You'll find red mullet in your fishmongers. All of the rest of the stuff you can buy from a fucking supermarket. Make it. Bloody fantastico, por favor. Um, big up HelloFresh for sponsoring us. Big up you for watching. That's the beginning of season four. We ain't going nowhere. We're still here. Love and prosperity. Who job bless no man can curse. Love and prosperity. Who job bless no man can curse. You get me? So I'm just going to sit here in the sun with Typhon and George eating fish, talking life, getting to know each other over some caponata. And that for me is a recipe for a good day. Love. Films. Can you say films? Film. Films. Films.